Now, at the end of the video, um, I'm going to go ahead and post the content from the other video that I took down. I'm going to cut it up and put and uh, and be respectful and put up. Oh, that was another thing. <laughs> this person never once surrendered. Never once met me halfway. Never. Never admitted, never opened up, nada, nothing. There's this girl on, on YouTube, uh, little, she's, she's writing checks she can't catch, cash. Uh, she's Middle Eastern or is she Persian? I don't know. You probably know her. Gives a lot of dating advice. Real, real, real pretty girl looking. Like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. She says a lot of things, like one-off things. Like it's easy, it's, it's amazing to me. On YouTube, it's easy for people to say one-off things that sound brilliant. Well, you stole them from fucking somewhere else because you're not old enough to really understand what you're really saying. I know it, but coming out of your mouth and coming to a, a, a millennial or a 25-year-old person, it sounds like you are the fucking gospel. I mean, sincerely. But she says something, and I've never heard it anywhere else. So I'm going to give it to her. Sincerely. She says, in the beginning of a relationship, men, women will show you who they are. The first time I ever heard that, man, it was like, holy fucking shit. So I forget her name, but I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Got to give it to her, man. Brilliant. I don't know where she got that from. So I'm going to give it to her that hers and it's hers and hers alone. Brilliant mind made that up for sure. Women show you who they are. They do. You just have to see it. And sadly, I see it clear as fucking day. Clear as fucking day. So as it relates, like I said, to the other video, I'm going to cut it up, put it at the end. And this one's new. And yeah, so and, and I don't know and don't care if this girl watches this or what she thinks of this. I don't give a fucking shit. I don't because well, oh, fuck it. I'm not going to say anymore. Okay. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> All right. You got to read this. Cultures shift. Humans are biologically resilient. Why judge and be disgusted in others when they are acting out their nature? How fitting. If we don't like our culture, then we do the work to show a different path dwelling on what's outside of our influence and can be a fruitful exercise of it has a trajectory toward that which we may influence. You are now wordsmithing. Wordsmithing is a young person's way of trying to act intelligent or wise. You have lost all of my respect right now. You could have just as easily said that in a way where you didn't have to use big words and warp your sentences into a PhD thesis. Instead, just fucking talk. I can't stand when people act like this. I call it grandstanding or wordsmithing. It's fucking pathetic and stupid. Don't fucking do this because I'm going to rip this apart and embarrass the fuck out of you. If it's not mental masturbation, body count, relationship length, meh. If I see this motherfucking word in a comment, I will not fucking read it or post it from now on. That is not a fucking word. Don't use it on my goddamn channel. Get the fuck out of here with that. It's not a fucking word. It's a fucking baby word. Two-year-old. Right along with the rest of your goddamn fucking comment. Be present. Stop judging your past self and others' past self. Shift to an embracing attitude. I'm half your age. But I hope you receive my words well. Keep expressing yourself. Continue growing. Okay, first of all, you're half my age. Don't come to my fucking channel and parent me. Fuck you. Do not ever fucking parent me. The fuck is wrong with you? My two boys, 23 and 24... They try to pair me and I don't fucking talk to them anymore. And I don't fucking, I don't give a shit. I'm not your goddamn friend. I'm your fucking father because I'll give my life and my inheritance and everything I fucking am when I die to you. I don't owe you dick. I brought you in this world. I gave you life. I gave you freedom. My two boys can pick, my two boys know their love unconditionally. 
That's why they don't. That's why they have the self esteem. That's why they're young men. That's why they they, they live the way they live because they don't fucking need me. They're not my goddamn fucking pets. I raised men, and they're half they're they're half my and they do this fucking shit too. They try to parent me. So let's go from the beginning on this so you can learn something. Cultures shift. Uh, culture is about where you where you live, where your your origin from. Hispanic, German, Italian, American, Canadian, Muslim, or Islamic states. That's culture. Humans are biologically resilient. What the fuck does that even mean when we're talking about psychology? Or we're not talking about internal medicine, you fucking idiot. Why judge and be disgusted in others when they're acting out their acting out their nature? Because they'll hurt me. And if I don't set solid boundaries, they will motherfuck me. Like if I would have spent six months a year with this girl, she would have fucked me sideways. Are you fucking kidding me? I know it for a fact. 80%. My stories don't have, my, my assumption stories don't have bear, but the foundation is there. And that's the foundation. I'm, a, I'm 80%. The 20% of the TI or TI, TE view that I got galactically fucking wrong still means my NI is right at 80%. On point. This woman would have spun my head in the fucking negative direction. In a bad way, not a good way. If I say I'm going to spin your head, it's in a good way. This is a bad way. If we don't like our culture, then we do the work to show a different path. Again, you're talking about Islamic, Islam, Hispanic, German, Italian, cultures of humanity, different cultures of where we were born, not psychological makeup, you fucking fucktard. If we don't like our culture, then we do the work to show a different path. Dwelling on what's outside of our influence can be a fruitful exercise of it has a trajectory toward which that we... Okay, hold on a second. What the fuck were you trying to say in your fucking... <laughs> what's outside of our influence can be a fruitful exercise of it. Has a trajectory... Trajectory toward that which we may... Inf I don't even have a fucking clue what you're trying to say here. If, if not, it's mental masturbation. Okay, fine. Well, since the preceding se sentence made no goddamn fucking sense, the fact that you're trying to claim that it's mental masturbation and a fuckery inside your head and a waste of goddamn time makes no perfect fucking sense either. Body count, relationships, be present... You must be a woman who's got a body count of 30 at the age of fucking 20. You must be a bicycle. You must be a goddamn fucking mattress. Because guess what? The only, the only fucking species that, cares, that doesn't care about body count is fucking women. And when your body count's 50, 75, and your shame and your fucking guilt is so horrendous that you can barely look at yourself in the mirror because of all the dick that has been inside you and jackhammered you? Yeah, I wouldn't care about it either. So fuck you. I'm 53 and my body counts under 15. Get the fuck out of here with that. And if you're a guy, that's even fucking worse. Because you have no honor, no respect, fucking nothing. So if you're a guy and you're out there jackhammering and fucking every hole and filling every hole without even a fucking care, don't watch him. Get the fuck away from me. I'm serious. Just because you're a man doesn't give you the right to fuck everything that moves. Get the fuck away from me. Stop judging your past self and others' past self. What are you parenting? I will absolutely judge my fucking past. So I can be a better fucking man for everybody I meet in the future like that fucking woman. But she couldn't see the fucking light of day. Past her own shame, guilt, and fucking history of 45 years, never being married, no fucking kids. That's fucking telling it's a red goddamn blank. I don't care what anybody says because nature says that we want to get married, have fucking kids in the society we live in and the way we've been brought up. So get the fuck out of here with that. I will absolutely judge my fucking past. Because without judging myself and looking in the mirror and saying sorry and saying sorry to myself and saying sorry to my mistakes and going back and saying sorry, if I can fucking do it and I need to and I have to to other people I've wronged, well, fuck you for telling me not to judge myself. I will absolutely judge myself. And I'm the hardest, I'm the harsh, fuck, cr harshest fucking critic of myself that will ever be. I don't need you to fucking parent me. Get the fuck out of here with that. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Half my goddamn age. Well, what does it say? Stop and pass the others pass. Shift to an embracing attitude. 
What the fuck do you think that was? I broke up with this fucking girl twice, and here I go. And I'm not fucking deleting this video. I saw someone that had spark. I went after it. I ignored all the red flags. I ignored everything. And I still set solid boundaries. I trusted myself I, and my experience and wisdom. And I ignored everything I know. Five years of my life, over 500 fucking videos on the depth of fucking almost incomparable on fucking YouTube in realism. And you want to come at me and tell me? Shift to an embracing attitude? I tell you what. Go find me another channel that'll read your fucking comment, this fucking bullshit, and give it the attention so I can help. Not teach, because I don't think I'm fucking teaching. I don't think I've taught a goddamn fucking thing. Obviously, if you're watching me, I haven't taught a goddamn fucking thing. An absolute failure. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> you're killing me with this shit. I mean, I am dead fucking serious. I got a very fitting uh, question on my comments, and it really is. And I got it eight hours ago. It's from Ing41880, all right? It says, hello, Marty. I wanted to ask you if you manage to use T-I-T-E-S-I-S-E -S -S -E every day, and if you no longer have this problem of consist constantly being in the future because of introverted intuition. Because I have days when I am almost uncontrolled in the future, and sometimes I have days when it is easier for me to live in the moment because I use your tips. Do you remember yourself every day using the other functions? Okay. Um, if you, if, if you believe that, uh, on my channel, I, at, at one point in time, well, okay, just uh, allow me this. Okay. If, if you're using introverted intuition, okay. And you find yourself to be unhappy. So you go down to T I and T E and then really pay attention to SI to get yourself out of the, the you, get yourself out of living in the future, okay? Um, if you remember me at any point in time on my channel doing this, okay, what that is, is that is a INFJ failing at using its shadow functions or functions that are uh, third and fourth on the list, okay? Because I am so dominant here, it takes a tremendous amount for me to be here and live in the moment, a tremendous amount. And what and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see my introvert intuition, give me my answers up here. And these lows, when I go into shadow, are gonna be extremely low. That's why everyone thinks I'm um, ENFP, because the lows are so low when I'm so disappointed and life and, 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 and using so much introverted intuition that I am in, in, the, in the future so hard and so in-depth that the here and the now misses me. And when I finally tell myself, fuck the future, it, it doesn't give a rat's fucking shit about you today, I go really into shadow and go really fucking low. And, and, it gets, and it's bad. So to answer your question, uh, I would say that I am completely living without T-I-T-E-S-I, -E and I'm going to prove it in this video. Okay? So, great question. Um, if you can do it, great. And I, I hope that answers your... I, I think I answered your question very well. If not, in the comments, tell me I did a shit job, and I'll try to do better. But that's all, that's all the best I got for you today. <laughs> all right? Um, thanks for the comment. And you got, you got fortunate because you just had your video. All right? Okay. I'm wearing a funny shirt. But to me, it's not funny. You see, when I was growing up, my parents would come from Orange County and come to Ventura uh, when I was seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and we used to go to the Renaissance Fair in Ventura County off of Canaan. I remember my mom saying, we're going to go to the Renaissance Fair, and I remember thinking, God, I don't want to go that fucking far, and I remember, it's like a trek, it's like an hour drive in the back seat, and I remember saying, and she thought it was off Canaan. Yes. So this shirt... Uh, it has holes right here for this lattice-like tie. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I have it on, kind of, sort of. Okay, but I'm going to really knock it home later on, okay? But I'll give you the, 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 the thumbnail. 
I don't have a sporadic, odd, chest tattoo, haphazardly tattooed in the center of my chest. I don't have a massive, good luck with your massive back tattoo skull on my back either. I have a skull on the center of my chest to protect me from you. And who's gonna have my back? You? Sincerely. There's not a woman on this planet, not even my mother, not yet. She's on her way and she tries every day and it is incredible the effort that she's making to do it that has had my back. No woman has ever had my back. So that skull represents the evil that I must put forth to watch my back from you. This one I wear to remind me that even though you're never going to change where you wear your heart, you must protect it from you. Go watch five videos on Sigma Male. Go to YouTube, search, what is a Sigma Male? And believe this when I say this. I am everything that that video says times fucking 10. I had someone who knew me for four and a half years watch videos because I was trying to love this person. I was trying to get this person to fucking wake the fuck up. And she says to me, did they make these videos about you, Marty? I mean, did they literally interview you for them? And I'm like, I can't watch them. They make me sick. Because I am, it's like, it's like watching a video where someone did interview me, where someone said, Marty, this is for you and only fucking you. Because I never met anybody like me. I haven't. And it makes life pretty fucking miserable on the daily. So I don't like talking about the LBGQ fucking elemental PQZ. Because if you have a vagina, you're a female. If, you're, if you have a dick and balls, you're a man. Have a self-esteem. Be proud of what you were given and what you are. And then figure everything out on the inside. And don't give a fuck about anybody else. I go, I don't. Look what I just fucking said. You think I give two fucks? About what anybody thinks of me? When I talk about something so intimate and so personal to help not only myself and the reflection in, in the fucking glass and the reflection in the mirror, to be able to admit that to myself, that's why I'm fucking great. But first I would like to tell a little story. Well, I got a lot of stories. <laughs> I do. Okay. When I met my, uh, the mother of my children, um, we were working in a restaurant and uh, I liked her from the get. I did. And she, uh, I was, I had, I had arrogance with her, but, but ain't what happened was basically I asked her out and then, uh, she canceled on me and then, uh, we planned another date and then I canceled on her. And the first time I'll never forget this, the first time that she, uh, that she canceled on me, I said, well, it's her loss. And I'll never forget this. Her friend from high school, uh, says, oh, really, Marty, it's going to be your loss. And, uh. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea why I even said that, but it worked. And can you imagine the first time I asked uh, the mother of my children out, um, she canceled on me. And then on the very next time, I canceled on her. And we went out on a date. I spent 18 years with that woman. Then if I hadn't made a decision, and if I could have tweaked a little bit about, a little bit about me, we would have never divorced. I would have died with her. There is no, there is no doubt in my mind. Who's to blame? We both are. But our beginning and in our 18 years, and if I were to overlook some of the bad and the shit, the shit that she did, who she is, and the shit that I did and who I am, my relationship with her was absolutely perfect. It was perfect. But so goes life. You live and you learn. And that's, and that's how it is. And every so often, you're going you're gonna to get the opportunity 
to have that again.